Controversial OAP, Daddy Freeze has slammed a clergyman who is currently trending online after a video of him predicting the mishaps that have happened in Nigeria went viral, he wrote. I listened to that bescumbered broadcast bereft of spirituality and with no recourse to God. Yet I know that with the problems Nigeria is facing, combined with our gullibility for men of God, whoever made those predictions is now fast on his way to becoming a God himself. The first set of dates he mentioned are the 23rd of June, 28th of June, 12th of July, 24th of July. 30th of July and 1st of August. His exact words were, these dates I have mentioned do not travel out of Lagos using the following. Transport, and he proceeded to mention names of transport companies, claiming they were marked for blood. Before you guys start jumping and lapping this shit up, let me ask you, does this look like a prediction for Saturday's Plateau Massacre or yesterday's tanker explosion? Absolutely not, he clearly mentioned transport companies going out of Lagos. Listen to the audio clearly without sentiment or emotion and you will see what I'm saying. Yesterday's disaster involved a tanker and vehicles within Lagos going about their normal activities on a Thursday. Not luxurious buses going out of Lagos that were marked for blood. Nigeria has become so hungry for profits that we jump at anything with spiritual semblance. Without analyzing what they are saying critically. Before you leap and start believing anything, drop your emotions, prejudices, sentiments and inbred gullibility on the floor and listen again, this time carefully, P.S. If I owned any of those companies he mentioned I will sue his ass for billions. Tilda FRZ Controversial OAP, Daddy Freeze has slammed a clergyman.